All right, the third story in this book is called The Alpha Directive, written by Matt Groom and artwork done by Marco Renner. Now, this is a nice little Alpha story because Alpha in the Power Ranger comics ever since the Carl Higgins run, ever since the Boom Studio comics began, Alpha 5 has been the subject of just getting torn up to pieces, whether he's shut down broken, decapitated, he gets the worst because he's a robot. But this story written by Matt Groom is a nice little Alpha story where Alpha tries to find his purpose. Where we see the moments when he was first activated by King Lexion, and you see him hanging out with Zordon before the five teenagers of attitude were ever even picked. And you have this moment where they're sort of looking at the viewing globe and they're viewing teenagers seeing who's worthy because Zordon does say you never know when I'll need to pick people who need to fight the battles for us again. So it's a nice little moment we have in this story. And this story has some nice wholesome Alpha moments in it. There's a scene where Alpha cooks everyone lunch and it's the Stone Canyon trio because there's a bit of a time skip in this story as we flash forward for Alpha's life from beginning to almost the end and there's this moment where Alpha 5 cooks lunch for everyone and they're all laughing they're all being cheerful and Alpha cooks some food and then goes back to doing his job he starts cleaning the command center and Zordon's like hey you don't have to do this you can hang out with the rangers if you want to it sounds like they're having a lot of fun and Alpha's like nah I like my job and then you have this moment where Alpha 5 activates Alpha 6, you know, Alpha 6, yo, 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 what up, I'm Brooklyn Alpha 6. Uh, the Alpha that everyone seems to hate. But there's this moment where they have this brotherly bond moment, like they even hug, and Alpha 5 says, hey, I'm going to help you find a purpose, and just help the Rangers, and I'm sure you'll find your own purpose later down the line. Uh, I'm sure you can do it. And then they have this moment where they have this nice brotherly bond hug moment. And they even call each other like, well, Alpha 6 calls Alpha 5 Big Brother. And it's a really nice moment between the two characters. And I might probably, I might make that my thumbnail, the two Alphas hugging. Either that or like maybe the last couple of pages on this uh, story. It's hard to decide, but it's a really nice moment. So the ending of this book leads up to Dark Spectre or Dark Spectre's forces invading Eltar. And this is when Zordon and Alpha went back to their home planet. And this is when the invasion of In Space happens and Zordon gets kidnapped. So this is kind of like the last few moments. And Zordon is suggesting Alpha to run. And Alpha's like, no, I won't leave you. Like, Alphas are very durable. Like, even if the worst things happen to me best thing that can happen is my memory can be backed up or restored and hopefully I can be rebuilt because Alpha has faith in the Rangers and that they'll succeed and Dark Spectre won't win. And the final few moments in this issue is Zordon and Alpha standing side by side as the room is being invaded as like the final moments before Zordon probably gets kidnapped. And Alpha's final lines in this story is, My purpose is, I want to make sure that my friend never gets left alone. And as he says that he's placing his hand on the tube, he says that to Zordon right in front of it. He looks him right in the eyes and says, I want to make sure my friend is never left alone. That's my purpose in life. And it's a really nice moment for Alpha 5 in this comic because it's probably his final last moments before he gets rebuilt again later on in the series but it's just a nice little moment for Alpha 5 in this issue because he finds his purpose he wants to stay by Zordon till the end of time and it shows his loyalty as a friend and a companion to Zordon and that's like a really nice touching moment that I feel like that Matt did with Alpha in this moment like he actually shed a tear for Alpha in this story because you feel sorry for him and I kind of wish that this story could have went on just a little bit longer maybe but I feel like it ended on like the best emotional note for the story to end on for like a short story and I really enjoyed it so I feel like uh, Marco Renner and Matt Groom did an excellent job with this story and in my opinion they knocked it out of the park and I really hope that Boom Studios brings on Matt Groom to do other stuff for the Power Ranger comics whether it's a mini series 
a unlimited one shot. I would love to see Matt come back to the Power Ranger comics because I really enjoyed his run for Mighty Morphin when he did that Rocky arc and the Forever Pink stuff. I really, really enjoyed that. And I'm hoping that we'll see Matt Groom once again when it comes to Power Ranger comics. So with that said, I'm going to bring this video to a close as we close on this chapter in the book.